Maybe I was a witch. I was a witch, mother. You were staying at my house, sleeping on my bed every day, but I'm a witch. Honey, I'm not even your sibling. I'm, I'm just your friend. <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're most definitely welcome and if you're a regular regular and individual who watches my channel each and every now and again welcome back sis welcome back to the dolly's gang yes i am back again with another video and by the way today i am back with a new baby <laughs> new addition to the family i am really hoping that she's working because i am literally trying her for the very first time today and I don't know how it's gonna go. And so yeah, we're just winging it basically. And as you can see, Bobbyana is back, darlings. Bobbyana is back. This is literally the first hair that I had on when I did my very first video on YouTube. Okay, so on today's video, I'm just here to remind you that don't be afraid to cut people off in your life. Yes, I said it. Don't be afraid to cut people off. And by the way, let me wear some earrings because I, I can't take myself seriously right now. Here we go. She's got earrings now. I hope I look more serious than I actually think. Um, anyway, so I was still saying that don't be afraid to cut people off from your life. And I'm saying this because in, my, in the past year, I've literally lost three people, three very important people in my life. And I just, you know, I didn't even think twice about it. I just decided to cut them off. I cut people off because they're toxic. I cut people off because I'm on another level in life. I cut people off because they don't serve any purpose in my life anymore. Um, so I'll give you an example. So I'm here to tell a story time basically of how I cut a friend off. Honestly, it was one of the hardest things ever because one thing about friendship breakups, they are very painful and um, it's really hard to accept sometimes that, oh, you know what? I've lost a friend and this is someone that I used to speak to every day. This is someone I used to gossip with. This is someone that I really adored. This is someone that I just enjoyed. I, I literally enjoyed her presence. I enjoyed her company. I enjoyed everything about her, but I feel like we've just come to a point where we've just outgrown certain things and our values have changed and that's because i went into the working environment and she was still in school i would like to think that's one of the reasons why our relationship couldn't um, last any longer and so what happened was she hurt me deeply and she hurt me deeply because i happened to feel sympathetic for her uh, because she didn't have a job at the time literally she was an unemployed graduate you know and I know how that feels because I was coming from there honey and so what happened was that I recently got a job um, one thing about me I'm always job hopping so you can never confirm where I work um, so I had recently gotten a job on tinder as per usual because I do get a lot of my jobs in, on Tinder because I don't go on Tinder looking for love. I go on Tinder looking for CEOs and I read people's bios and I get to see what they're looking for. And I just happen to bump into people that are actually looking for employees. So Tinder is like a LinkedIn for me. And so I met this guy and um, he offered me a job. It was a really good job good paying job and I was like super excited that I was gonna leave my toxic workplace at the time and then things worked out pretty well and I started working there he was a really nice guy he was really kind to me uh, even though he didn't expect anything from me literally he just he just was you know a normal guy and so he happened to be because the problem was that this company was a startup right and so he was looking for more people to actually do other stuff in the company because in as much as I was there um, when I got there it was only one other lady and he actually still needed a lot more people so I recommended my friend we're gonna call my friend X 
right? Because she's an ex-friend. Um, so I recommended my friend and she came all the way to Joburg and she stayed with me. And I thought it was gonna be a temporary thing. I really didn't mind having my friend over for the longest time, but I just felt like sometimes, you know, I was just used to my own personal space and all of that, but it wasn't bad, honestly. And so she came to Joburg and started working. And so when, when he offered her the job, guys, I'm so sorry if you can hear a squeaky sound, it's my chair. I don't know why. I don't, I, I've tried everything. I've tried putting oil on it. I've tried doing a lot of things on it. I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to bear with that. And I'm sorry if you couldn't hear it before and you can hear it now because I, I mentioned it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, so she came to job work and she practically was living at my place. I really didn't mind because I thought it was gonna be, you know, a temporary thing or whatever. And so this girl comes in and obviously she tells my boss that she's currently doing her masters and we're like, great, you're doing your masters, okay, cool, that's fine. You know, establish yourself, build yourself up, girl, do you, as long as you still do your job. And uh, my boss was kind enough to say, hey, um, if you wanna go and write exams, if you wanna go and attend classes and stuff like that, you are welcome to just say so and take days off. Um, we're just gonna pay you for the days that you're gonna be there. Number one, that was a problem for her. And I don't understand why that would be a problem for you. Um, do you really want to like, it's, it's a small company, first of all, and you want to just come there and work part time and get a full time salary. Okay, so she complained to me about that. And I was like, ah, you know what? Maybe it's nothing. I didn't care to mind about that because I thought she was being unreasonable because she expects to work part-time um, and get a full-time salary. And mind you guys, she was only working for either three days or two days a week and then the rest she would be spending at school. And so um, she started saying that, no, we only attend block week, we only do this, that, 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 that. And my boss was so, you know, very kind, very lenient. And he was like, okay, that's fine, but we're still gonna pay you part-time. And she became a little bit, you know, not so nice anymore. And so for the salary that she was getting, guys, honestly, I was paying my rent, I was buying all the food in the house, I was doing everything. Um, obviously, because at the time I didn't even have a car, so I was taking Uber and then we'd share the Ubers. So that meant that her salary was not doing anything besides taking her to work. Because first of all, every day she would, to my partner at the time, she would say that she is hungry. Yes, to my partner, she would say that she's hungry. And my partner, because he was such a nice person, he would literally take us out for dinner every night. He would take us out for dinner or either buy us some like fast food takeaways. And that's because she never really wanted to cook. She was not interested in cooking or doing whatever. Even though I was buying groceries in the house, even though I was buying electricity in the house, I was buying everything that could, you know, possibly um, be a resource for her to get in the kitchen and cook or do whatever. And she just wouldn't. Um, and then she would complain about money on top of it. Um, so that was a problem for me because how can you be complaining about money if you're not saving money? Like you're complaining about money, but you don't cook, you don't take a lunchbox to work. Um, that, that, that didn't make sense to me at all. Like I'm so used to taking a lunchbox to work because I am all about saving money. I'm not about to buy takeaways every day and stuff like that. So of course, when there was load shading and all of that, we couldn't cook and stuff like that. That I totally understood, but she was never interested in doing any chores in the house. I remember this one time I left the country and I left her at my place. And when I came back, you guys, it was bad. Like literally, it was bad. I was, and like, okay. So what happened was that she was a bit confused about when I was coming back. So what happened was that I literally came back at 4 a.m. And I'm like, I'm going to come back home. So she thought I was going to come back to work, you know, with my bags and stuff. Why would I take my bags to work? And so when I arrived, you guys, my house was like a pigsty. Um, there was lots of dishes in the sink. 
there was just a mess all around and i'm like in my mind obviously i didn't say anything to her but in my mind i was like this is how you treat someone's space someone that trusted you with their space someone that was nice enough kind enough to invite you into their space to stay for free without even helping out with rent without even helping out with groceries without even helping out with electricity this is how you treat my place i mean the least you could do is at least clean if you're going to be at my place the least you could do is at least clean the place if you make it dirty hello like i don't care if i made it dirty or whatever but those dishes were not mine i came back from wherever i was coming from out of the country you can imagine how depressing it is to come back to a a pigsty a pile of dishes in the sink i was so upset i couldn't even say i was speechless and so she saw that you know on my face I was quite disappointed and so she didn't say anything but obviously she started acting up she obviously went straight to the sink and started you know acting like she wanted to wash the dishes or doing whatever and so like you know that sense of embarrassment that was you know that was a good thing because then it made me feel like she's human and she does have you know my amashoni um, tingana in my language and I don't know what to call it in English shame she does have a sense of shame that's the only word that's coming to my mind right now and so after that i just started you know being unhappy and she would notice that i was unhappy guys i'm taking off the leaf because it is literally taking the focus off my face um so she noticed that i was starting to act unhappy i couldn't pretend to be you know happy family anymore um that's because of the level of disappointment that I was facing and it was just it went from you know being happy chappy to being sour very quickly and that's because I was so not used to her um, in that type of setting I was used to her as this bubbly person that would always make me laugh that was always so funny that was that always had a great personality but it was just different this time around and so because of that we grew apart and eventually she saw that i was you know um treating her in a certain way not necessarily saying anything like i have this thing in me i think it's a personality thing whenever i'm upset with someone i don't necessarily have to say anything you're just gonna see like you're gonna see it in my face and you're gonna feel uncomfortable and i saw i feel like i started acting that way and that was because I was so upset about the little things that she was doing in the house and like it was just little things like leaving my apartment unlocked the one time I remember I went on a date and um, I was upset on that date because he made me pay the bill um, that wasn't an issue but coming back home to an empty apartment that's unlocked and I had all my belongings my televisions my couches my everything guys my laptops my computers i have a lot of things i have a lot of stuff that's expensive and she just decided to go and make friends with someone next door and she would be chilling next door which is something that's a pet peeve for me i don't like people that make friends with people in the complex because i don't like people knocking on my door and i did make that clear to her from the get-go that hey you know what i saw that you made a friend in the complex i really don't want anyone knocking at my door so i made it clear that none of her friends came knocking at my door but how come now you're leaving my apartment unlocked only to go and hang out in someone else's apartment until 2 a.m i come back at 2 a.m and my place is unlocked how do you even explain that and i told that to her she apologized of course but then you know obviously i was still you know not feeling this whole situation and at some point i just started feeling like hey i need to tell this girl that she needs to leave because i respect our friendship and i still wanted to save our friendship but i guess it wasn't it wasn't possible anymore because eventually i just went to some Itali i remember i went to the italian club once and then when i came back she was gone so she didn't even say goodbye and in my mind i was like ah oh, okay good riddance but then at the same time 
don't you owe me some respect because I took you in. Literally, I took you in and gave you permission to stay in my place. You didn't even have to pay rent. The least you can say is thank you. Um, you know, even though like it wasn't pleasant at all, but at least you can say thank you. Hey, thank you so much for taking me in because honestly, what I did for her is stuff that no one would ever do for me. When I had to come to Joburg, I was staying in a shack. I had nobody, I had a lot of friends, you know, friends, but none of them invited me to come stay at their place for free. I did that for her and she really just didn't appreciate any of that. And I just felt used at the end of the day because I mean, she got to a point where if we go out with my partner and he says, hey, I remember on our first date, on, on the first date when I introduced her to my man at the time she so my man is a very nice person you know and so he offered that um, he took us to breakfast and he took us to breakfast and he got to meet her everything was nice and you know they really got along we went to Thraps I don't know if you know where Thraps is it's somewhere in in, uh, in Anda Rosebank somewhere there and so after our breakfast at Thraps you know how Thraps is also a shop at the same time he was like you guys can go into the shop and pick whatever you want um, specifically something to drink for the road you know and so we get into that shop guys you won't believe it this girl went and picked books she went and picked different types of drinks she went and picked different types of water she went and picked different types of chocolates snacks i was shocked literally this man said go and get yourself one drink and she went and picked the whole shop and when we went to the till i was kind of embarrassed because the bill the bill at the till for me as his girlfriend was 16 rands for sparkling water and guess what you got something like 700 rands worth of things like how do you even do that like i i just i'm still gobsmacked i still don't understand how you take advantage of someone else's partner like and he's a nice person of because obviously he's gonna pay and i told her that okay he's very generous he's this he's that you know and so how do you come in and take advantage of that and I'm telling you that this didn't even happen just once. It happened more than once. I remember this one time we went, um, I was going shopping for a dress for dinner and then, you know, she got invited um, to go shopping with me. Guys, I'm so sorry. I have to speed this up because I'm having load shedding in an hour. And so um, he told us to pick whatever we wanted. Um, I picked a dress obviously it was you know even though he's gonna say pick whatever you want but you know it's for a dress it's a dress for dinner pick a dress she ended up picking a whole outfit shoes pants a shirt and a dress you must be joking the bill was all the way up to 1400 I'm like what the fuck what the actual fuck and then this one time he picked me up from work of course and so I told her so what she would do is that she wouldn't want to spend any money on her transportation back home uh, from work. And so every time um, I wait for my partner at work, she would wait as well. And I tell her, can you please go home because I need some alone time with my partner. And then she wouldn't leave. And of course, when he got there to pick us up, to pick me up, she'd be there being a number two, I don't know what. And so he'd pick both of us up. And I remember this one time, I'll never forget this day. She was speaking to someone. She said this person, she met him on LinkedIn or whatever. And they were supposed to go on a date, right? If you're going on a date with someone, can you at least have them order you an Uber? Can they at least pick you up? Can you at least go there with your own money? Like you don't have to use other people to do that. Um, so my partner came to pick us up at work as usual and she was in the car. And so she was like, hey, um, can you please, um, do you mind dropping me off in Kailami? Guys, Kailami is out of the way for us. Kailami is like literally a place that we never go. And so I was so pissed off that she asked him that because she knows he's a nice person. She's manipulating him. And so he agrees. He's like, yeah, sure. We're going to pick, we're going to drop you off. 
and she doesn't say that she's we are dropping her off to her date literally we drove her to her date so this man got to see her for free at our cost I was gobsmacked and I'm like, how do you even do that to your own friend? Like, you don't even value my privacy. First of all, I told you to go home and prepare for your date or whatever. And number two, she said that that guy was going to Uber her, but how come he didn't? And then number three, why are you using my partner to go and meet your partner? Like, I just don't get it. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. And so that was just a turning point for me. And I'm like, you know what? Some friendships are just one-sided. Honestly, the whole friendship just felt one-sided. Every time we go out, I'd be paying for the bill. Every time it's something I'm paying for the bill. And so I'm like, nah, I can't be paying rent. I can't be paying electricity. I can't be paying food in the house and paying when we go out as well. Like, how come how come you're not even chipping in anything and then she'd complain about money saying that hey 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 like literally guys she was earning so much money that the money that she was getting after paying my bills i didn't have that money like it was that bad like she she had more extra cash than me because literally her money was for her to go to school i remember this one time she took advantage of my boss at work and so she said that she had block week or whatever and they had to attend this, these classes for the whole week and she can't travel all the way to Pretoria from Santon. And so she's like, yeah, I need to book a hotel. Cool shop. Hi, girl. Sonny, you're speaking to your boss. You can do whatever you want. And then the boss gives her a loan to go and pay this hotel. And so, hi, girl, Sana. Like, I'm surprised that, okay, you're paying for this hotel by this money but you keep coming back home every night and you come back home every night going to my workplace so that my boyfriend can pick you up and drop you off at home so you're saving on transportation back home you're saving on the money that you were supposed to use to pay for the hotel because you know once you come home my man's gonna buy you takeaways my man's gonna buy you food I'm gonna either buy you food as well when I buy food for myself like literally you were just riding for free as if i'm your sibling honey i'm not even your sibling i'm i'm just your friend and i was just trying to help you and because i was trying to help you because you said you needed a job you said you were desperate for a job but literally the way you act you were acting at that workplace doesn't seem like you were desperate for a job because she would go guys into i don't know i don't know do you go into a workplace and say hey i know everything or do you go into a workplace with a mindset that i want to learn and sometimes you might know things in certain ways but if they do things in certain ways can you at least open your mind up to learning how they want their things to be done i didn't understand that part like she was so arrogant at work and sometimes she'll be sitting there and not doing any work and i'm like <sighs> <laughs> I can't be working while you are just sitting there and not working and then at the end of the day you want to earn the salary I, this one time I approached her I'm like there's no way girl you have to do some work and then so guys I couldn't believe it she lashed out on me she's like hey you are a hater you really don't want me to succeed you are so against me you Yo, guys you went off on me I can't I couldn't believe it just because I asked her what is she doing because she was busy with her assignments during working time like if you knew that you had your assignments due why not why not take leave she wasn't taking leave because she wanted to make extra cash for free like how do you make money from just sitting at work while other people work so you can get a salary at the end of the month no I'm not gonna do that that's one thing I'm not gonna do because I'm getting frustrated at work getting more work and more work and more work every day because you are not doing your job so if you're not doing your job then why are you being employed in the first place why do you want to get a salary if you didn't work and so she got upset thinking that I'm against her degree hey 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 I don't want her to pass because apparently she had a deadline on that day uh, is it my problem I didn't even know that she had a deadline. Guys, she wasn't even telling me these things. Maybe I was a witch. I was a witch, mother. You were staying at my house, sleeping on my bed every day, but I'm a witch. Literally, you're keeping secrets from me. I'm not saying you have to tell me, but at least do your job when we're at work. Don't have excuses. And if you have 
Um, if you have deadlines at school, then focus on school on that day. Never mind work, focus on school on that day. Then we know that you didn't even work, so you don't deserve any money. And literally guys when she went to write her exams she would literally tell my boss that oh no i'm writing from 10 up until 12 right from pretoria to joburg from pretoria to santon it's less than it's less than two hours she would literally get to santon city at four four o'clock i'm telling you four o'clock that's because she knew that she was coming for the transport the free transport and number two she just wanted to clock in so it looks like she was at work so she can get the money even though she was not there the whole day guys it was bad it was bad and it was depressing and so when she left my place and didn't tell me that she left actually she told me over the phone that i left and like okay that's fine i was really heartbroken especially because i treated her like a sister I treated her like someone that was family because I mean I tolerated her shit when she was being lazy I didn't say anything when it was time to pay rent I didn't bother her like I was so nice to her like how much nicer can a person be to you than not making you pay rent than taking you in to their space and and not complain like, I just don't understand. And from that day, I just thought, you know what? I want friends. I love having friends, but I prefer my friendships to have a lot of distance because I feel like a lot of people are definitely gonna take advantage of you and you definitely don't want that. And so, yeah, that is how my recent friendship breakup went. Um, on the next video, I'm definitely going to tell you guys about my other friendship breakup and that's because I've run out of time. I only have 10 minutes until load shedding. And so yeah, guys, I don't have, like it was so painful, especially because I'm not one of those people that have too many friends. Literally, I only had, you know, um, I only had three friends and now I have two friends. Yeah. Yeah, and this other friendship breakup, I wouldn't say she was necessarily my gut friend um, because she was a work friend and so I got really fond of her and um, yeah, things ended as well. I guess maybe I'm not too friendly, I don't know. Maybe it's me, maybe it's them, I don't know, Lord knows. But all I know is that that friendship was toxic for me and if I was wrong, do comment down below and let me know. Was I wrong? for you know asking her what she's doing at work if she's not working was i wrong to you know question her sometimes was i wrong for doing that like i don't understand like should i have kept quiet and let her you know take advantage of the whole situation or whatever like i, I just don't get it i just need your clarity and to date, like literally guys, I, this friendship breakup happened last year, September, and still hurt. And that's how hectic friendship breakups are. Like, it's just not the same. Breaking up with a boy, it's nothing. I get over that shit in a week. But friendship breakups, they'll have you thinking. They'll have you depressed and rethinking your life and thinking that, oh my God, I feel like shit every day. And so, yeah. I really hope to find a new friend. I hope to find new friends. I'm not a frenzy, frenzy person, but um, I really want friends. I really want friends. I want to have friends. I want to, you know, go out with friends and stuff like that. But I just feel like I haven't had the opportunity to do so, to have friends. But yeah anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you made it this far please do subscribe and hit the like button if you wish so and uh, don't forget to comment um whether i was wrong uh comment about your friendship breakups have you had a friendship breakup recently and how did it feel um how did you cope because for me i feel like it's been a long time now i should have been over it but um do i need therapy I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you loads from me to you. It's only love. Bye.